to listen to more ritual pastas, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. There are times within the person's life when they will curse the limitations of their own human body. While it can perform many actions, there are moments when it is simply not enough. Have you ever tried to swim underwater for long periods of time? Perhaps you have been beaten senselessly by a hulking bully. It could be that you are late to your destination. Whatever the reason may be, I can guarantee that you've wished you were stronger or faster, bigger or smaller. You may have wanted to change your appearance at will, or have the ability to perform any other superhuman feat. For years, humans have had to rely on the progression of technology in order for them to lift extremely heavy stuff or arrive at their destination hurriedly and the like. But what if I told you that you could gain these superhuman abilities for yourself? You probably wouldn't believe me. This seems reasonable. As a matter of fact, I would doubt your sanity if you did believe me. But for those whose sanity has slipped, there is a way to be granted with what you wish. The ritual to do so is not particularly difficult. No, the hard part comes afterwards. And those who have gone through with the ritual have never lived their life the same way again. The ritual begins with you locating an area in which you would be alone for miles. When you do find such a place, you must fall onto your knees and repeat clearly the phrase, Let it be known that I have forsaken the path of holiness and call unto the king whose throne lies on the sea. Twice. If the king has heard you, he will summon himself before you. He will command you to stand and then ask for what you wish. You can ask him for whatever human augmentation you would like, but you can only pick one. Additionally, make sure you speak very clearly. The king will then inform you of the cost, the removal of a small fragment of your humanity every time the superhuman ability is used. He will then extend his hand. This is an extremely crucial point in the ritual. The extension of the hand is his offering of a handshake. Now, you can decide to withdraw from the deal, in which case he will inflict a large cut on your hand. The king does not like those who waste his time. Alternatively, you could accept the deal, in which case you are to shake his hand. Choosing the latter option will instantly grant you whatever it is you wished for, and the king will go back to his throne. This is the end of the ritual. As mentioned before, at any point you activate your ability, you will lose a small fragment of your humanity. The smart ones tend to be very conservative with their power usage as a result. Or at least, they start that way. At some point, anybody who has had an ability that surpasses that of any other human tends to end up abusing it, even though it is through tiny fragmentations their humanity withers away inevitably. There will be a time when the person with power subtly but surely morphs into a creature that represents their ability and their personality. But the person with power will not notice this, for they have fallen deep within the recesses of their own foul nature. All those people will know is how they use their power for their own good. Before long, they will have completely mutated into a subhuman beast with no knowledge of who they are 
and where they came from. They will be slaves to their own power. The first ever case of this deal with the king occurred with a man who grew jealous of his brother's strength. These brothers were the great grandsons of the man humans referred to as Adam. Furthermore, it is passed down through several books that Adam met the king, who tricked him into eating a forbidden fruit. To this day, the king continues to make the deal with humans who seek power greater than they can handle, and they continue to transform into unknowledgeable creatures. You've probably seen one of them before. There are parks called zoos that are dedicated to observing them in their habitat. <laughs>